I'm Hank. If you're like me, you're wondering how can I save more of my money for booze and weed. Today, I'm going to get you higher. Keep those bills lower. <coughs> Six new ways to save you money. I thought of this shit right here one night when I was getting hooked up by the fucking cops. If you bust out your shoelaces, put a zip tie on it. Simply run it through the eyelets of your favorite pair of fucking boots that have gone shitty. Zip. Boom. Trim it. Can't walk around with that fucking shit slapping the fucking ankles of your friends. You're fucking set, man. My wife's always stinking up the joint with these fruity ass candles and jars. Don't let her throw these out when they go out. Put them in the freezer. Candle wax get hard as dick. Grab a knife, screwdriver, you can fucking knock the bottom out of that shit. Clean it out, and then you end up with a perfect jar for free. You ain't gotta spend money at the head shop to show off your weed. You can put your teeth in that. You got them gallstones in that jar if you want to. There's a lot of ways you can get into your fucking lady's bottle of wine without an opener. But I like this one the best, because you always got this around. Screw. Hammer. Real fucking simple. Take it, put the screw in the top, get it started, get it in there deep. <laughs> this is the only thing of my wife's that I get to screw or hammer. Take your hammer, hook that shit, pop that shit out. You fucking get hammered? Yeah. Well, you're fucking running late and hung over for court. A quick way to straighten out your shit is with your lady's flat iron. It's usually laying in a fucking wet sink. You can straighten out those fucking dicked up collars. Be careful, you get some prison scars if you're not paying attention. Uh, uh, I'm ready. Yeah, I'll take. My wife wants me to fucking spend $75 at the Beyond Bathworks for some shit that'll heat up her neck muscles. Fuck that. You got this shit at the house? Take an old sock. Preferably one that's not been filled with jizz. Cut you open a bag of rice and fill this son of a bitch up. You're filling this sock with rice. Sheep. Don't cost no money. Put a zip tie on it. <laughs> Throw that in the microwave for 30 seconds. I just save you fucking $75. Go get you a fat sack and a 12 pack. She's gonna be bobbing on that knob deep. <laughs> Cause the gas company shuts off your service. Fuck em. I got a stove you can make, takes five minutes, runs on alcohol, and you'll be cooking again in that time. First thing you want to do is cut the bottom off a couple old beer cans with a parry knife. Fuckers are sharp, man. Be careful. Like that. And go ahead and fucking strip another one. Best way to press these fuckers together is to put a couple of little cramps in this with a pair of needle nose. Cramp, cramp, cramp. I'm gonna go ahead and fucking slide that right down on. Press these bitches together. Boom! Wrap it up with some HVAC tape. And pop you some holes in the top. Go ahead and put some fill holes in the middle. Later on, we're gonna cover that up with a penny and seal it back down. Go ahead and get you some alcohol 91% and higher. Fill it up. Now go ahead and move your penny back on over there. And a safety lighter. 
That shit is fucking flammable, y'all. God dang it. Just like that. Fuck the gas company. I got a hobo stove. Oh, fuck. We still need a bunch of fan songs to play at the end of the shows in 2015. If you got a whiskey, weed, women theme song, uh, email me that shit, fucking A. I'll get it on. Look, I can't wait. Next week, we are back on the Freedom Rider Mower. Shit, yeah, part two. Fucking check out what we do to this bitch. This week's song is from Kingsport, Tennessee. Jeremy Fine and fucking throwing down. I like it. We'll see y'all next Friday. I got shit to do.